Why do 99.9% .9 of side hustles that we have heard about do not work? Why do they fail? About 98% of people who try online side hustles, they fail at those side hustles, regardless of the fact that experts claim that these are very easy side hustles and anyone can earn money from those side hustles. Regardless of that fact, people still fail. We have about 98% of failure. And guess what? Most people, after going through this side hustle, they come out defeated, tired, they have struggled, they've spent their money and they are just frustrated. They can no longer take on a new side hustle. They don't even trust that they can actually make money online. And this is why I have created this video today because I want to tell you the reasons why you are failing at the side hustles. The side hustles are not a problem. It is the information that you received was not correct. You don't understand the information that these experts are telling you. What they are telling you, you don't fully understand what they are saying. And that is why you are failing at the side hustles. Secondly, I want to tell you about a side hustle that I have been doing. And if you are somebody who have been watching me, you know already what I'm going to talk about. But if you are new to this channel, I'm going to tell you about this side hustle and I'm going to give you four solid reasons why this side hustle is the most reliable, predictable, and the easiest way to earn money, especially if you are beginning online. Regardless of where you are, regardless of your background, it does not matter. You can still make money with a side hustle. But before we go into the details of that, and before I talk about the reasons why you are failing at these other side hustles that you strongly believe that this will work for you, I want us to take a look at some of the prominent side hustles that people normally talk about online. Let's look at this side hustle closely and see some of the things that is wrong with them so that you don't just take my word for it. But then you can also see for yourself that there is something wrong with it, some of these things that you hear about online so that you can take the right and appropriate action for yourself. So sometimes it is good for you to do some of this research and find out. So let's get to it. Let's just take the first side hustle, affiliate marketing. This is something that you hear about a lot online. There are so many videos that people tell you about affiliate marketing. So you see a lot of videos online telling you about affiliate marketing, how easy and fast it is to make money online. Let's take a look at what affiliate marketing. Let's begin with Google, right? Let's ask Google what Google thinks about affiliate marketing. I asked Google on average, I said, on average, how long does it take for you to begin to earn as an affiliate marketer? That is really important. I said, earn. I did not say how to begin. So here you see it says, it says around six to 12 months. So if you, you want to start a side hustle that is related to affiliate marketing, you have to prepare within yourself that it will take me up to about six months before you start earning. And for someone who is starting from scratch, for you to, to wait for six months that is not a reasonable amount of time so let's look what experts are saying now i am at a particular website called um, ah ref this is a well-known seo um website these people are more like they are digital marketers they are experts in digital marketing you can find out about this website so basically they've created a blog they were interviewing experts and affiliate marketer so basically you can see he's talking about his affiliate marketing journey and he's making between uh, and 30 to fifty thousand um dollars this is for people that you say they are not like high paying affiliate marketers who they call like high ticket affiliate marketers but this is somebody who is really good at affiliate marketing and they are making between 30 to 50 thousand dollars per, per year but then let's see what exactly he says about how long does it take to make money as an affiliate marketer he says based on my experience that is this is somebody who is who has done affiliate marketing for many years <laughs> close to 10 years he has done affiliate marketing close to 10 years so now he's saying based on my experience and this is something that i i rely on people's experience that what just people are saying and speaking with many affiliate marketers on average it takes around 6 to 12 months to start earning money as an affiliate marketer no now the idea is not about starting affiliate marketing it's that starting to earn real cash now what is really um wrong with affiliate marketing why is affiliate marketing 
marketing. Now you might ask yourself, why is affiliate marketing looks like a bit challenging or takes this long for you to start earning? Well, affiliate marketing requires you to have a certain segment of audience. So let's say you want to do affiliate marketing. You need to have people that you can advertise to. So gathering those people, putting together that segment, and it's not just all sort of people. It's not just having like crowd of people, right? You need to have the segment of people. Let's say you are an affiliate marketer for electronics or maybe insurance company. You need to have people that are interested to buy and pay for that kind of services. So you cannot just be an affiliate marketer just like that. You have to have that speciality and also gather that audience. You need to know, have that expertise. So there is a lot that you have to learn to become an affiliate marketer. That is the first one. The second one, let's look at a print on demand. That is an also another side hustle. It's easy, but there are things that you need to learn about print on demand. Let's ask Google, how long does it take for someone to start making money on print on demand? So let's see what Google tells us. Now, Google says, in general, it can take several months to a year for a print on demand business to start generating profits. So the reason why they are using the word profit is because there is upfront investment. If you really want to do print on demand as a professional business, right, you need to invest upfront. So maybe you might have some amount of investment but for you to actually start to make money generally which is like on average is you have to at least allow yourself to work for several months six months seven months eight months before you start making money however some businesses may achieve profitability sooner while others may take longer here are some tips so this is a cure somebody asked a question so these are expert people that have done this business they are telling you now you have all of this information here so i'm just kind of showing you that you can do this research to help yourself to embrace yourself when you want to start some of these kind of businesses but then let's talk about the rest of the other examples of um, side hustles that we have the next one is drop shipping so most people go into drop shipping they think that oh drop shipping is a very profitable business First of all, dropshipping is not as profitable as people think. The profit margin for dropshipping is very low. We can check it. So let's check that out. So basically, we asked Google that what is the, the on average, like what is the general profit margin for dropshipping business is 15 to 20%. So any side hustle that you are doing, if the profit margin is below 50%, it's not a very profitable side hustle. Side hustle should be something that gives you a profit margin between 60 70 percent that's when you say you are profitable because imagine you are sacrificing a career of nine to five to become a side hustler and if you are hustling as a side hustler you believe that you should be able to earn because you don't have insurance you don't have medical you don't have anything like that so your profit margin if it is below 50 percent it means you are losing it's better you go and work nine to five so as you can see this is clear example of what it means to um, do a dropshipping business likewise blogging so if you want to be a blogger you need to have to you need to get some certain expertise in a certain domain say for instance in a medical field you are an expert in that area then you can blog in that area by doing so you'll be able to garner a lot of audience people that will believe and trust in your content so online tutoring is another side hustle that is really popular so what it means is some people have causes that they've created they need somebody to answer to comments actually serve as a mentors to students that are taking those courses sometimes you even have other core things like for instance they have platforms where people teach kids to, to learn mathematics, to learn basic English and other things. So you can become an online tutor. So that is also a side hustle that people tell you that, okay, you can start that side hustle. You have to have expertise in mathematics. Likewise, if you want to do English, you have to have that expertise. If you want to teach people Chinese, you have to have that expertise. So it requires you to have certain expertise and it is also competitive. You have to also know that. So it's not like something that is really easy. So let's come to the common one that most of us are aware of, which is YouTube, right? Most people will tell you that, okay, you can start a YouTube channel, you can make money out of YouTube, or you can do YouTube automation and so on and so forth. So next, you can start a YouTube channel. Some people will tell you that, oh, YouTube is the easiest thing to do. It's the fastest way of making money. It's easy money. You can sleep and make money. Yes, 
it is possible for actually for you to make money while sleeping you can even leave the, your youtube channel for three months four months five months six months you still be making money but for you to get monetized it will take you between three to six months that's minimum that is if you are consistent and you are hard working and to be honest with you guys come a youtuber is very very hard one you have to have the equipment it's not just about producing videos your videos have to have the quality you need to understand how to do thumbnails you need to understand a lot of other things and you have to do research to bring these videos to people and the audience have to love your content you see what it takes so even all of that work you can do all of that work still you will still struggle to get monetized so you see the challenge there so yeah you can become a youtuber but you have to know that it will take you up to three Three, six or even 12 months for you to get monetization and once you are monetized you have to work very hard to get to that point where you will say okay i will take vacation to go and still be able to make money so what is wrong why are these side hustles all of these side hustles are problems why are they problems why are they challenging even though experts are saying that they are easy they are fast they, you can make money you can relax why are they challenging to do well the simple reason is this there is a difference between barrier to entry and actually earning money from a side hustle. Now, barrier to entry is what something that will prevent you to start the side hustle. Most of the side hustles are very, very easy to start, apart from YouTube. Because becoming a YouTuber, there is a lot that you have to do before you can become a YouTuber. Likewise, I'm dropshipping. But if you say affiliate marketing, you can sign up for affiliate marketing. You can go to any website and become an affiliate on that website. You just need to sign up as an affiliate. They send you a link. You have that link. But the thing is, for you to earn money with that link, for you to begin to earn money, that's where the problem is. And there is a huge difference. And you have to understand this as somebody who is trying to work online. That difference between side hustle. To start the side hustle might be super easy. But for you to begin to earn money from that side hustle, that is where the key is. So whenever you are watching any video online, somebody tells you, oh, this is fast. This is easy. You can start earning money you have to ask yourself is it easy for you to enter into that side hustle or is it easy for you to earn money what is really easy where is the easy comes from right you need to understand that so that is what is wrong with some of these side hustles and you have to really examine this side hustle before you start investing time and money because if you start investing your time and money on a side hustle when it is actually very tough for you to start earning is a problem for another example is print on demand print on demand is very easy you can start it today but the challenge there is you will not start earning maybe three to four months before you start earning from those prints right so you can start print on demand you start posting those designs but you will not start getting those sales because there's steep competition there's a lot of people posting so you have to match to that competition before you start selling and you start very slowly maybe this week you will sell two shirts next week will sell three sometimes you don't sell any Anything and so on and so forth until you get a lot of designs out there and then you start earning with time your income will start increasing it takes time so if you are somebody who is beginning you get frustrated before you even you get started and that is why some of these side hustles they are not the best for a beginner so now you may ask okay which side hustle is the best for me to start if i really want to start earning money and i want to make a difference in my life the side hustle is very simple maybe you even guessed it it's called freelancing there are three characteristics that you have to understand before i start talking about the different things that you need to know number one is the fastest way for you to earn money it's not for just for you to start number two is the easiest thing that you can ever do all you need is a computer you need internet for you to start freelancing and number three is reliable and predictable it depends on you the only barrier on freelancing the only barrier that i see to entering freelancing as a side hustle is you you are the barrier your willingness and your skill sets those are the two things that will stop you not to start a freelancing career and you can start as a freelancer and start earning money immediately so let us talk about the different things that sets freelancing aside and i'm going to tell you these things but i want you to pay attention to the details because they are going to help you and motivate you to start your career today the first thing that sets freelancing apart of all other side hustles is low barrier to entry now the bar of 
entry here when i talk about barrier imagine it as a bar the bar of entry is basically zero there is absolutely nothing that can stop you from starting a freelancing career as long as you have the internet you have your laptop there's nothing else that can stop you from becoming a freelancer now you might say oh that is not true well you know that there are people that can hire you just because you know how to enter data on excel are you aware that there are people that are clients that are looking for people just to answer their emails and document those emails what the emails are saying do you know that there are people that can just hire you just for you to organize their social media platforms or post on their social media platforms yes there are clients out there that can hire you to do this kind of work you see so yes you might think okay you know freelancing the bar for entry to freelancing is basically zero all you need is your skills you need your internet and a laptop you can start freelancing but the most important things that you need to note are three things number one is the cost or the investment to start is very very minimal minimal in the sense you might say okay you need to pay for internet you need to buy a laptop and that is all what you need to invest in all right number two is the flexibility of skills now you don't need a rigid expertise freelancing does not base on one skill set even as an individual you can have multiple skill sets you can know how to use excel you can know how to use google docs you can be somebody who understands how to upload videos on youtube you can be somebody who creates content or writer you can be multiple things and you are allowed to create all of this profile on one platform and be able to make money out of it especially upward last but not least in this category is the accessibility to platforms now the platform there are so many platforms that you can join you can join fiverr you can join people per hour you can join freelancer.com you can join um upwork.com all of these platforms are accessible they are free to for you to create an account you don't need to pay so you can see that the barrier to entry is super super low next is immediate gratification freelancing is the fastest way you can get profit from your investment there are three things you need to note when it comes to immediate gratification and also if you are new to this channel this is your first time watching this channel i want you to do me a favor take one minute of your time and subscribe to this channel because i want this content to reach as many people as possible so that they can have access to this content so they themselves can better themselves and if you do that for me you are not only helping me but you are also helping someone out there who needs that assistance thank you now back to the video so there are three things that you need to and pay attention to number one is quick turnaround on investment and freelancing has the fastest turnaround on investment because today you can create your account tomorrow you can start applying for a job if you are really serious within the space of a week if you are following all the instructions that i've been providing on other videos if you are watching my content within the space of a week and you put in the work now pay attention to what i'm saying i did not say it's a magic i said if you are putting in the work and you are really serious within a week you can start winning job and start making money number two quick payment you get the fastest payment with upwork so what does that mean the moment you deliver you get paid so you are paid by by milestones if you have a fixed contract it's very simple the moment you deliver you get paid so within a week or two you should start earning there are only few side hustles out there that can guarantee you that speed of income for you to start a side hustle within a week or two for you to be start making money that is almost impossible in most of the side hustles that i've tried and that most people have tried out there next number three is your ability to work on multiple projects so you can scale even on the stats on the onset you can scale you can start by creating multiple specialization rather you can start by creating multiple specialization and then you can apply for multiple projects so you don't have any limitation you can do many things with this side hustle just within a week or two and by doing multiple specialization you can apply for multiple jobs at the same time and you can work multiple jobs so you can see there is a huge chance for instant gratification which can help propel your online side hustle the next thing why freelancing is the most friendly online hustle is the flexibility to control your schedule you have a huge flexibility to control your schedule so you don't have to be there all the time doing the same work all the time you can choose 
how you want to work. You can choose which hours of the day you want to work. You can choose to have a work-life balance. You can choose to leave. After making a lot of money, you can choose to leave and take a break. And guess what? There are clients who are willing to give you that time for you to go and come back and you can work from anywhere. You see, that flexibility, I know other side hustles do have that flexibility, but some side hustles, you have to be on the studio. You have to have a studio for you to be able to do that. But with freelancing, you can move around. All you need is internet and your laptop. You can move around. That flexibility is only going to be available for you with freelancing. Next on the list is diversity. With freelancing, you have multiple categories, countless categories of jobs that you can select from or from specializations that you can select from. You are not limited to one skill set or one expertise. You can expand your expertise. So you can start with maybe Excel or somebody like a data entry specialist. With time, you can expand. It means you can build repetition in different areas of your expertise, which you can also use in the long run. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that you cannot be an affiliate marketer who is renowned. People can know you for that, but they will only know you for affiliate marketing. And especially sometimes they even niche down to specific products. But for freelancing, you can be known as a professional in a particular domain. For instance, myself, I'm a product manager. Now I am an expert product manager. People respect me in my community because of the amount of projects that I've delivered as a freelancer and also the type of client that I've worked with, not just local clients, but global clients. That gives you repetition and that repetition goes with you anywhere you go because you have feedback, you have reviews that are provided and those reviews, you can always use them anywhere in the world. That is something that you, it's difficult for you to get from other side hustles. And that is why I think freelancing should be your first choice. Last but not least is scalability. Now, most people neglect scalability when it comes to freelancing. There's a very easy way for you to scale. You can start as an individual, but as you go, you can add, you can build a team, you can create an agency, you can become a manager of yourself, of your own business. You can have people working with you and then you can earn from their income that they're making. But you have to be smart about this because if you don't take your time, the quality of your work might drop. So you have to bring in people bit by bit until you reach at a point where you know that this person is reliable enough for them to be able to handle that. But what I'm saying is you can actually scale your business and create an agency that can make you thousands of dollars, if not a million dollars by year. You can make a lot of money by bringing people. Scalability is easy. The platform is already built to help you scale. So if you enjoyed this video, like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you and see you on the next one.